Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. John here again, and this message is going to go out to Mr. Randall Ooston. Mr. Randall Ooston accused me of having the same position as Serentius, the false teacher. And I don't want to put words in your mouth, Mr. Randall. You posted the whole Gospel of John as a refutation of the deadly false teaching of Serentius, who the Apostle John strongly opposed. This is why his gospel so powerfully affirms the deity of Christ. Your position is the same as Serentius, the false teacher. Now, I don't want to be a false teacher. And, well, I'm not as smart as Trinitarian, so I actually had to, to look up this Serentius. I don't do as much studying, I guess, as I should on heretics and the supposed early church fathers. I use most of my time to study scripture and what scripture says, but... Again, I do thank you for bringing this up because I don't want to have the same position as a false teacher. So, like I said, I did look it up and let me tell you what I found. According to Irenaeus, I assume you're okay with using him as a reference. Irenaeus said that Serentius did not believe that God created, that it was a lesser God that did the creation. Well, that doesn't align with my beliefs at all. I believe that God, the Father alone, created everything. And in fact, if you want to get uh, to the truth, Trinitarians, of course not all, because there are variations within the uh, Trinity belief, but uh, many Trinitarians believe that Jesus did the creation. So I would say that that belief, although not identical to the Trinitarians, is closer in relation to their belief than it is mine. It's actually opposite of my belief. What about this? He believed that Jesus was not born of a virgin. I believe that Jesus was born of a virgin. In fact, that's what Gabriel said. It's because of that, that miracle conception. See, Mary's egg, her seed, brought forth a child and in nature you need a sperm and an egg but through miracle her egg brought forth the child that's what i believe and it, that is again opposite of what serentius's position is on that and i'm going to get to it in a second but that's closer in aligned with what trinitarians believe but we'll get back to that how about this serentius's position was that you should keep the law he believed in the old testament covenant that was one of his, his problems with paul was he believed paul was an apostate to the law and i love paul i think paul's wonderful i i really i honestly cannot wait to the day that i can meet paul he's one of my favorite people in scripture so again that's opposite of what serentius's position is and like i said i don't i'm not a uh, old testament law keeper at all now what about this and this gets to the the main meat of what Serentius's beliefs is he believes that a a being the Christ came into Jesus the man so essentially there was the man Jesus and then you had this Christ this God spirit being that was sent by God. Now, that is completely, again, opposite of what my position is. And yet, once again, although not identical, closer to what Trinitarians believe. Think about it. Although not identical, it's still closer to what Trinitarians believe. He was fully God, fully man. That when you're asked a question about Jesus, you first got to ask, are you talking about Jesus the man or the Jesus God? Now, they'll say when it's son of God, and this is not all, but I've heard Trinitarians who will say the son of God. When that's mentioned, that's talking about his God side. When at first the son of man is referring to his man side. Again, that's not my position at all. Do you understand that? Serentius had a belief that there was this God that came into this human, this flesh. That is not what I believe at all. 
that is closer in alignment with the Trinitarian belief and getting back to the virgin birth. At some way, you believe as a Trinitarian that the second member of the Trinity, at some point during that conception, came down into the womb of Mary. Which is exactly what Serenthius believes. He just believes it happened later on. He believes it happened at the, the baptism with the dove. That That's what he believes. But you still, at some point, you believe not in this miracle conception where it's just God through miracle caused her seed to bring forth a child, but yet that this second member of the Trinity came down into her womb. So, no. Absolutely not. The only thing that you can say about Serenthius and m myself is that we both believe that Jesus was a man. Well, guess what? You believe that too. Trinitarians believe that he was a man. That's They'll confess that. Of course, they have to because Scripture repeatedly over and over and over states that he was a man. So that part's undeniable. And that's the only reason why Trinitarians even admit that, because they can't go against that. Now, a lot of times they'll add on God man, which is never once does he ever referred to in scripture as a God man. But again, that's what you have to believe, just like this Serentius believed that he had this God inside of him. Not in the same way that we understand that. God's spirit was upon Jesus. That's a, a different idea than what Serenthius believed in from Trinitarians with his fully God, fully man side. So oddly enough, Serenthius' false beliefs, false teachings, although not identical, are more closely aligned with Trinitarian belief than mine. So what say you to that, Mr. Randall? Let me ask you this. Are you going to be man enough to do the right thing? And you've made a lot of posts, but post one more comment underneath this video. Admit that you're wrong. You don't have to apologize, but admit that you're wrong. Be man enough to do that. And state that you're either ignorant of Serenthius and his teachings as, as it relates to mine, or that you just w knew it and lied anyway. Because you can't say, if you're going to make the case that, well, because he believed Jesus was a man and I believe Jesus was a man, that means we had the same position. Well, then I guess that applies to you as well, right? We, we got to be real careful when we accuse people of stuff, especially if we accuse them of being a false teacher. I confess Jesus is a man just like the apostles confessed that Jesus is a man, just like Jesus confessed that he was a man in the same way that God said he was going to send a man. So my confession is not a confession of Serenthius's belief. It's a confession of what scripture actually states. What you need to do is ask where you get this God-man theology. Because there were pagan God-men, but nowhere in scripture does it speak of a God-man. So I would encourage you to go ahead and just like I said, be a man of good character and just admit that you're wrong under this video. All right. Until next time, I'll be praying for you.